All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. This is not a GEC tutorial, but this does relate to the GEC. So we are going to be porting a Fallout 3 mod to Fallout New Vegas. And now, if you want to port a Fallout New Vegas mod to Fallout 3, it works just the same way. But, um, yeah, so we have my Fallout 3 mod right here. Keep in mind, if you're going to port someone else's mod, you want to get um, permission from them, of course. But since this is my mod, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine for me, I guess. But we're going to go to manual download, and we're going to download it like we would with the basic mod. Uh, as you can see, I already have it right there. So here we go. We have the ESP and the voice files right here. And now we just need to drop them in a, our Fallout New Vegas data, just like you would with the basic mod. Now, if you're porting over a mod, I feel like I shouldn't have to describe to you and how to download mods for Fallout New Vegas. It's pretty clear. But now the next step is something that maybe not a lot of people like, hopefully some people are cool with it, but you need to download Fallout, Fallout New Vegas' mod manager. Now this mod manager does work for Fallout 3 and New Vegas. I use mod organizer personally, but for this case we have to use the Fallout mod manager because it lets us port the files over. So I have it right here, but link down below will be the download for it. And it's it's a basic, simple download task. If you really need to know how to download it, you can look it up. I'm not going to show you to download it because I, I want to fly through this tutorial. But we're going to click it. And it's going to ask you what game you like to manage. Fallout New Vegas in this case. But if you're porting over a Fallout New Vegas mod of Fallout 3, you would want to go to Fallout 3. Or no. Yeah, yeah. Fallout 3, my bad. All right, so as you can see, EdenVendor.esp right here it says Fallout 3 ESM is the master file. We don't want that. We want the master file to be Fallout New Vegas.esm. So we're going to right click, open and test snip, expand this little plus thing, and click test S4. Or test 4. I don't know why I said that. But as you can see, the master is 13. And if we click master, it says master file Fallout 3.esm. And um, so we're going to delete the Fallout master right here. Now, how to do that is you click the delete button. The delete button is above your arrow keys. It's to the left of the end. If you don't have a keyboard that has the the, the delete button, then you're doing something wrong. 10 keyless is the best. And anything below that is just insane. But I'm going to click the delete and delete data and the master. And then I'm going to click edit, add master, click the three dots. And then at the bottom right where it says plugin files, you want to click master files and click follow nv.esm. Click OK, and as you can see, when we click on master, it says 14, and now it says Fallout NV.ESM. So now, we need to click File, Save, and then um, typically the best thing to do is just to overwrite the file because it's it's really useless. I mean, you can't use it, so yeah, you just overwrite it, and then, um, yeah, as you can see now, that when you click on it, it says Fallout NV.ESM right there, and um, with a gun mod or armor mod, you would typically be able to spawn it in with console commands, but if you have a mod that has like an NPC or something like that, you need to, of course, spawn it in in the GEC. Now, if you don't own the GEC, then I don't know why the hell you're porting a mod over. And if you're porting a mod over, or if you're porting a weapon mod over, I don't know how bad that is. So use your own discretion with that. I don't know if the Iron Sights will work with it or not, but you know, go go slay, man, slay. So now go to Fallout New Vegas' folder and find the GEC. If you don't have it installed, it's it's very really easy. It's easier than the Fallout 3 GEC. Um, but you just open it, and um, just like you would with any um, Fallout 3 mod or Fallout New Vegas mod, you just want to load your Fallout New Vegas.esm and your mod that you just ported over. So here we are in Good Springs. It's taking a while to load in. But I'm going to put Eden right next to these boxes right here. Um, but something to really that that's something that's really cool with Fallout 3 in New Vegas is they use the same creation engine sort of thing. So anything that you add from Fallout 3 will be usable and playable in Fallout New Vegas. So armor from you know your characters are going to be in New Vegas without any problems. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. The thing is with vendors, which the mod I'm porting right now is a vendor mod. Um, you do have to take account of the vendor container. So if I look up Eden, because I name everything by my characters, and I go to container, you can see my vendor chest is right here. And um, it does work and everything, but I still need to tie it in to the Eden character and everything. So right now I'm going to spawn an Eden vendor. So this is the NPC right here. And I need to go to container, spawn in the vendor container. 
spawn in the vendor container. All right, there we go. Um, I don't really care where it's at, so I'm just going to set it on the ground right there. I'll put it near him, actually. Um, and then now we need to make that his vendor container. So I'm going to double click on him, merchant container, select reference. Well, let me double click that. It's kind of weird. Hold on. Oh, wait, I think I know why. All right, there we go. So now, yep. So now it's tied to him now, and you can just put it uh, under the map. And yes, so now the vendor character is here. And keep in mind, the sound files and everything do transfer too. So let me save it and show you really quick. So here we are on Good Springs, and you can already see him right here. And you can also see my vendor container. So he has 990 caps on him. But if we talk to him... Here to shop, perhaps you need an item repaired. Whatever it is, Eden's at your service. Um, and, uh, I, okay, so it says I talked to him already because I already ported this mod over and I was using it prior to making this video, but yeah, everything works. Um, and, um, as you can see, I have custom weapons that I made him sell. So these aren't custom weapons, you were upgrade versions or upgrade variants of other follow through weapons, but they're in this game now. Um, you have Junk and Trunk, Special Shish Kebab, Eden's Custom Pistol, Eden's Plasma Pistol, and, um, yeah, they all work perfectly fine. So Eden plasma pistol. Don't have ammo for it. Eden is custom pistol. Yeah, no, it just works just fine. Um, I believe this gun is in Fallout New Vegas though, but still. Um, but yeah, so I hope this tutorial did help you. Um, I felt like a newer version of this tutorial should be a thing and uh yeah goodbye everyone